Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this series of lecture, we're talking about sectioning. If you look at the right side hand of the screen, you see a diagram, and we're told to section the diagram, looking at the direction of the arrow, right? Now, to give you a better understanding, I have reproduced that particular figure in isometric, right? And this is our cutting plane. And when you talk about section, means means you are need you are cutting a part of an object away from it, right? Now, if you look at this cutting plane here, which is shown in the diagram as you can see on the screen, is a cutting plane that is cutting this plane into two, right? And when it cuts this plane into two, we'll be having this, right? So this is before the object has been cut with this plane, or will I say with the knife, right? Now, when you cut it, this is after the object has been cut by the cutting plane, looking at the direction X, right? And this is what we'll be having. Now, what do you notice? This object you're seeing has a hole, right? A rectangular hole here. So when I apply my cutting plane, my plane is cutting through the hole. Now, because of that, the hole is left exposed. It is no longer hidden in between the figure. It is now exposed. This is also exposed, right? Now, all this part you're seeing here, you see, are the part that is being exposed to my knife or my cutting plane. So my cutting plane must have a kind of contact, right? Because without friction, this plane will not cut. So the contact that experience friction are this part here that is exposed to what? My cutting plane. But my cutting plane cannot touch this other side here because of what is on hole, right? It cannot touch here also. That is why when I told to look at the front elevation, that's why the arrow is pointing, right? You should look at the front elevation after the plane has been cut, right? So when you look at it now, you now discover that this is what we have here, right? You see this figure here, at least I'm saying from this point, from this point here, right? From this point to this point here, you see, is here. Here, my cutting plane is touching this side. That is why I what I sectioned it. But this hole you are seeing here is this hole that is here. Now, if you see in this line, as if it is drawn forward to this point here, we are looking at it at a distance. So you're looking from afar, look at this point, this two end here is at the beginning here. And the other end at the bottom also is at the beginning here. That is why I am closing here up. Now this part I'm leaving without sectioning is because of what? My cutting plane is not touching, it's not going into the hole. It's only cutting through the hole. Right now, all this part you see, I section here is where it's actually touching my cutting plane, just like when you are slicing a bread into two. Right, the entire bread will go through friction, but if there's a hole in between the bread, the hole will, will not be affected. Is that the case now? Now, as you look at this, we have this because it is exposed to what the knife, the cutting plane. That is the hole here, also that we have here is exposed the cutting plane exposes it that is why we are showing this this way that there's a hole here like i explained the object is symmetrical if i cut it the way i cut it what you see at the at the left the top at the left hand side because what you see at the right hand side right now if you look at this this figure here you are seeing here is this you're seeing here you're only seeing at this direction nothing you don't have business with the plan Neither with the end elevation, you only have business with the front elevation. So you'll be seeing all this figure here, and you'll be seeing this here also. Is that okay now? So now this is what you'll be seeing when you're looking at this direction. We are not told, you are not told to replicate this. What they want to see is this, right? After the plane has cut the figure, and this is what we have, which I showed you, this is what we're having. What are you going to see? This is what we are seeing. And we, this is what I replicated here by putting my what? My dimension. So it is always in 90 degree, 180 degree, and what? And 45 degree if possible. So I just use my normal ruler and pencil to draw all this. We know that the distance from the beginning as shown in the diagram 
to the ending here is from here to here and that's given as what 120. The height from here to here is from here to here that's given as what 20. The total height from here to the topmost here is given as 60, meaning from this point here to here is what 40. The thickness between here and here, which is here and here, is given as what 15. Here and here also, which is here and here, is also given as 15, right? While their distance apart is what is 30. The distance from here to here is 30. Automatically, here to here is also 30 because it's a symmetrical object. The, the, the rectangle thickness here from the elevation is 15, meaning from here to here is also what? 15. So this is what we have. And this is how a little or the basic knowledge of what? Of sectioning, meaning cutting something out of something. You are sectioning that part out, right? So if this has been meaningful to you or you found this video helpful, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. And um, one thing you need to understand here is that if you want to watch the full video of this, right, on how I drew this, and I later drew this, and got this, right, you want to understand the full video on how this process went, just click on this link. At the top right corner of the screen to take you to where you understand how I started drawing this how I got to this how I got to this and how I got to this so just click on the link that was displayed on this screen so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment if you have any question you want to ask, just comment on the word on the description be below, on the comment section below. Thanks for watching.